Hey everybody, how we doing today? What? Look at that day today. Dang. I wasn't even going to come out today. It's Saturday. I don't like to go when it's busy, but it was just looking too good. And I'm so glad I did, but there's nobody out here, so that makes it better. Uh, today's focus is going to be tarpon using mullet. So I'm all decked out in my mullet gear. Um, before that though, because we're coming down on a low tide, which is very nice, a little fishy there, uh, I am going to work the flats for a little while, uh, see if there's any bonefish around in particular. Oh, that's a little black tip. And then uh, go to cast net some uh, finger mullet. I've been seeing some nice smaller mullet and then go back out to the channel where I caught the tarpon yesterday and see, oh shit, bonefish right there. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. A few videos I mentioned this is that I need to stop way up there before I got into the fishing grounds and get everything prepared. And that, that involves doing my intro too. Dang it. I haven't seen a nice bonefish in a while. So uh, anyways, that's what I'm gonna do is take advantage of this low tide, see if I can find some bonefish permit. And then if it's not going too well, then I'll come back, hit these mangroves, pick up a couple of uh, mullet, and then go back out to the channels and see if I can get a big tarpon. So uh, that's the plan. Ah, oh, there's permit here. Permit or bonefish? Oh, right there. It's tailing. Oh. Oh, they went around it. Go back. Dang it. That was a good shot. I got it right in front of them. Oh, there they are over there. There they are. They're just sitting there. Oh, no. It's going away. So this is what you call flat calm. Mirror polish. <laughs> now, if I can't see them now, I got problems. But that makes it so I got to slow down even more than normal. So I could really scout things out as far out as possible. There's a ray there. I'm just looking for any flicker. And I got to be prepared for it. I can't run up on them this close because they'll see me from far away. Way up there. Those tails, that's a permit digging. That's a bird, <laughs> but there's a permit just to the right of that. So we're gonna ease up on him. Slowly, slowly. No rush. Okay, they're, they're coming towards me, so I anchored up. I'm staying low. Oh, it's coming closer. Oh, tarpon in the background by the sailboats. There they come. Another tarpon. There they come. Coming right at me. babies it's got a 
time it just right. Here they come. I see them. Oh, there he is. Looking right at me. Oh. Dang it. Oh, there they are. Coming back. Come off the edge there. Went back for it. Oh, that just spooked him. Dang it. See a tarpon just laid up right there. See if he likes a bucktail jig. Oh, right on him. Oh, that spooked him. Oh, he was interested in it. Oh, that spooked him. Another one out there. This thing is full of uh, tarpon. All right, that concludes our flats portion of our show. <laughs> now we're going to convert over to those tarpon. See a ton of those uh, tarpon rolling in the channel there. So I'm over here to try to pick up some mullet. Hopefully they're here. I'll be very pissed off if they're not. Uh, I need eight, so I'm going to go four in each bucket. And then uh, that should be able to maintain them. And uh, I have to, it's real low tide, so I got to go way out and then come back to the channel. So, uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, there's some here, not very many. Not where that shark is. Hopefully it, they stay in that pocket. Definitely not very many. This was packed before. Uh, we'll try to throw on them. I think we got our eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, one over. All righty, one and done. Okay, we're back in the channel. Got the mullet shirt on, the mullet mask on, two buckets of mullet, and I got my two tarpon rods. I already ran over some uh, tarp in there, so uh, we're just going to cruise down and then I'm going to see spot find them and maybe toss uh, mullet at them. That ought to be different, so we'll give that a shot. All right, we're going to do some slow trolling. Got our mullet there, put them out. The reason why I got so many is because there's a lot of toothy critters and they're going to be chomping up quite a few of these. 
So I'm gonna just keep an eye out. If I see any rolling, I'm gonna head right over there and... Ooh, there was a big, there he is over there. He's got my mullet. Swim over there. Oh, another one right below us. Yeah, he just comes right back. He's like, no way. There are big creatures down there. Oh, one mullet escaped. Dang you, I hope you get eaten. He made a run for it. That's all right, he'll be chum. I've already lost one, uh, one went straight cut off from a barracuda. See, he's like, no, this doesn't feel good. I want to stay around here where it's safe. See, this guy's hightailing a ride back. And there goes my... And that was that. Well, that's three down. What, four left? That's the problem with mullet. All the toothy critters love them. There's one, two, three. Coming by. Until it gets dark. Oh, there he is again. There's four. They're hanging out. Can I interest you into a whole chunky mullet there? Fresh, delicious, yummy for your tummy. He's right behind there. Come and get her. Oh, there he is. I don't have a hook on my other setup because that stupid cuda. I'll let him just drift behind me there. Get the hook, get rigged, and ready. Oh. Oh, tarpon are after it. I've been uh, trolling a, oh, see there's that tarpon there. Just went after it. I got one livey over here. Need to drop anchor. Well, that's pretty much the story of today. Cut off, cut off, toothy critters. Uh, I think I've got two mullet left. I guess I got time to go throw on more. Pain in the butt. Well, something just exploded on it. Something's running with it. And I think that was a shark. Not the tarpon. Oh no. It's running with it. Doesn't even know it's hooked yet. There we go right underneath me and now it knows it's hooked cool. now it knows it's hooked jump be a tarpon Never know. Ah, 
set that hook. Let's go after him. No need for Hail Mary today. Ah, he's keep going to Texas. There's his tail. Let's get up on him. Down to the second to the last mullet. Have one more left. Yeah, this guy took it. down deep. All right, tow around time. Oh, another tarpon, his buddy. Oh, there's mine. He's going to follow us, buddy. Turn, turn, turn. This is when they jump. They feel that tension. Don't like it. Just watch that line. As that angle starts increasing, then you know they're gonna get to the surface and jump. This is a steep angle, so he's staying down, but if all of a sudden it starts going root, get ready to bow or let your thumb off the drag. Bit of a less of an angle here. Oh, nope. There it goes. Stop. The camera just died just at the right time. All right. Oh, just like that, hook comes out. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, time to let him go. All right, now he's going back in deep water. I just wanted to make sure he was recovered, so I took him on the flats. That way, if it didn't recover, I can just grab him and keep going, but he's gone. Ah, done. <laughs> three days, three tarpon. That last one was rough. It was big and it was a bulldog. Oh, I hate when they don't jump. They just down, down, down. Oh, it's just brutal. Man, tarpon fishing, it may look like fun. Two thirds of the fight, it's fun. The last third of the fight, not fun. Especially when you're doing the landing. Oh, I'm enough done with that. I'm just pop, break them off and done. Oh, brutal. Tomorrow's Sunday though, I am not going tarpon fishing. I could go fly fishing for tarpon because then I know I'm not gonna catch one and it's just a lot of whipping action. Oh, brutal. But anyways, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, don't forget, all about the bait mullet shirt. Buy one of these shirts, guaranteed you'll catch a tarpon. Guaranteed. Would I lie? Oh, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.